We are in a climate emergency. The way much of Scotland's country land is managed is making things worse for humans and wildlife. Scotland's land usage currently emits more greenhouse gases than international aviation and shipping. So instead of soaking up and storing carbon from the atmosphere, a lot of Scottish land is actually emitting it. It's time for change. What if all large land holdings were taxed on their carbon emissions and were able to pay less tax if they changed the way they used the land to maximise carbon capture? Take, for example, a traditional deer shooting estate. Managing the land to encourage lots of deer in one area means woodlands can't regenerate. And if they can't regenerate, they can't capture carbon from the atmosphere. This would put the land in a high tax band. If that estate reduced and controlled lower deer numbers, the trees could regenerate and other natural habitats could begin to re-emerge. The land would move to a much lower tax bracket. We're calling this idea the carbon emissions land tax. With this approach would come a variety of other societal benefits, increased biodiversity, new employment opportunities, reduced flooding, greater water quality, and improved mental and physical health for the human population. We know our land has the potential to meet Scotland's climate change targets, sequestering around 13 million tonnes of harmful greenhouse gases. That's the annual equivalent of removing every single vehicle from our roads, and then some. Take your stance for a greener Scotland. Support a carbon emissions land tax.